स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस टू चैप्टर थ्री लाइफ ऑन अर्थ डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी शैल लर्न अबाउट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द अर्थ सेकेंड बिगनिंग ऑफ लाइफ ऑन द अर्थ एंड थर्ड द एनिमल वर्ल्ड ऑन द अर्थ सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द अर्थ देर आर सम क्वेश्चन वी ऑल वंडर अबाउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ वॉज द अर्थ फॉर्म्ड सो मेनी टाइम्स वी थिंक हाउ डिड द अर्थ ऑन विच वी लिव कम टू बी वेन डिड दैट हैपन वॉज इट ऑलवेज द वे वी सी इट टूडे और हैज इट अंडर गॉन चेंजेस इफ इट हैज चेंज वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर दोज चेंजेस so many questions like this cross our mind on the basis of scientific research it is now believed that around 4.5 billion years ago an enormous means a big cloud of very hot gases and dust spinning at a very great speed was formed in space its circular motion and great speed caused it to divide into several portions thus creating the sun and the planets which revolve around the sun the names of these planets we all know are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune and along with that we have other celestial bodies like the sun and the moon so now let's learn about beginning of life on the earth among these planets the earth is the only planet where life is known to exist after the formation of the earth it took about 80 crore years for its surface to cool down as i mentioned earlier it was made up of hot gases so it took a long time for these gases or the surface of the earth to cool down and for water bodies to be formed on it it is believed that various kinds of unicellular organisms or living things first appeared in water they are known as protozoa gradually multicellular living things developed from the unicellular ones the protozoa are so tiny that they cannot be seen with the naked eye we cannot see them directly around us so we need a microscope to see them so in this image you can see a unicellular organism seen through a microscope now let's move on to the third part the animal world on the earth the living world on the earth consists of plants and animals but here students we shall take into account the animal world the following are some of the characteristics of animals the first one animals breathe we all know that animals breathe but this is one of the most important characteristics of animals the second important characteristics is animals move in order to get food or for other purposes okay we see movement in animals for many purposes and the third characteristics is animals of some species lay eggs and the young ones are born out of eggs here you see the hen laying eggs and the chickens are hatched and they come out same way even a snake lays eggs and then the small babies come out from the eggs the young ones of the snake so this way some animals give birth to the new young ones by laying eggs while some animals of other species give birth to their young ones like cat dog even human beings we are born directly by birth okay the female gives birth to a baby so this way these birth giving animals are called mammals so that you will be learning in next chapter so now that you have learned about life on earth Let's learn something about the planet Mars. Do you know this? Some scientists feel that there is a possibility of life on Mars. However, no evidence means no proof regarding this has been found so far. 
like a earth mars too has volcanoes valleys and deserts it also has polar regions covered with ice sheets 95% of its atmosphere contains carbon dioxide it also has oxygen in very small quantities as also other gases and water hence it was thought that life may exist on mars the soil on the mars is found to contain some components that are essential for the growth of plants more research is being carried out in the light of all these facts however the existence of water in its liquid form is essential for life to exist that means only in the form of ice if water is discovered it won't be suitable for the existence of life so water has to be still discovered in liquid form on this planet mars it is true that the polar regions of mars are covered with ice but there is no liquid water the idea of man from mars has become popular through literature and cinema but scientific research has not confirmed it that means still research is going on india launched a spacecraft mangalyaan to mars on 5th november 2013 you have learned about this in evs1 right and the mission was successfully accomplished on 24th september 2014 this is indeed a historic event so just as we have life on earth scientists are trying to find whether there is life on other planets like mars also so students hope you have understood this chapter read the lesson from your textbook for a better understanding Stay safe keep learning and thank you